Today's video is about getting yourself to believe deeply in your manifestation coming and just developing a really strong conviction and how do we get ourselves to strongly believe that what we want is 100% without a doubt coming and how to actually call in the thing that we desire into our life. So that's what this video is all about. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahosa, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then welcome. It's so nice to have you here on the YouTube channel. If you're interested in getting a one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, checking out my brand new course, Life from Scratch, or the free webinar I just hosted on a self-concept, or any of my newer offers, you can check that all out on rahosa.com. Now, let's get into today's video, which is how to strengthen your belief deeply in what you desire, all right? So in other words, how do you get yourself to believe? How do you get yourself to the level of conviction that your desire is 100% without a doubt, no doubts in your mind, no limitations, you know for a fact your desire is coming into your life? How do you get yourself to believe? Not only that, but how do you get yourself to believe like acting as if it's already here? How do you get yourself to believe your desire is here when it's not yet in your life. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Now, Neville Goddard states that the moment that you truly are convicted, the, the moment you truly believe your desire is here in this moment, even if it's not, but as soon as you get yourself consciously to believe that it's here, or have conviction that your desire is 100% coming, that's when the evidence begins to appear in your 3D world. So I took some notes on one of Neville Goddard's books because I thought it was, I thought he brought up some really good points on how we can get ourselves to the point of conviction and truly get ourselves to believe in our desire coming. So the first and foremost thing that we can do, and this is something that Neville really emphasizes and I feel like is kind of like the foundation of the things that he teaches, which is the foundation, the pure understanding, the underlying understanding that you are the God of your reality, all right? There is no God that is external to you that is going to magically poof into your life the thing that you desire to manifest into your life. The God that you are seeking is not external to you, but lives within you. So when we understand this power, we understand that it is our responsibility to get ourselves to believe the thing that we desire in order for it to manifest. We realize that we truly have all the power to call into our lives whatever it is that we desire to see being reflected back to us. When you believe that you're God, when you literally understand the power that you hold as the creator of your life, as the creator of your reality, how can you not get what you desire? You know, how can you not believe that what you want is coming when you truly understood your power? All right, so the first tip is truly understanding your power is truly solidifying your self-concept, truly solidifying that belief that you are the God of your reality and you can achieve anything you want, that you can manifest anything you want, that you literally get whatever you want as quick as you want it. And when that is solidified as a deep-rooted belief in your subconscious mind, that's when you're gonna start to see all your manifestations are gonna start flowing into your life so quickly as soon as your self-concept is solidified. Your self-concept being that you are the operant power, that you are the God of your reality, that you can get whatever you want. Because if you truly understood deeply, like not just like believed it, thought it, whatever, like, but it was a deep rooted subconscious, deep belief and knowing that you are the God, God, all powerful being of your reality, that the power is in your hands. If you truly understood that, there would be no doubts, right? You would, if you're God, you don't have doubts. If you are God, you don't have limitations. If you're God, you don't have anything stopping you. So get yourself first and foremost to believe and understand the truth, which is that you are God. If you don't understand that you are God, then you still have limitations that you need to overcome. You need to work on solidifying your self-concept as step one. That needs to be your step one in order to manifest as you need to understand your godly nature. You need to believe in your godly nature more than you believe in the physical world that you're seeing around you right now. You need to believe in yourself more than you believe in the 3D world, more than you believe in the external, right? Believe in your internal world more than you believe in your external. That's number one. Now, the second thing I'm gonna bring up is more of an optional one, but I'm actually gonna share like from my personal experience why I 
am cautious of this and I'll explain what this is in a moment, but this is what I personally do that helps me solidify my belief in the thing that I'm trying to call in. I'm gonna give you a personal example, literally from the, something that I'm trying to call into my life, just to be vulnerable and express with you guys something that I'm calling in. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is. You'll see why. But I was with my family the other day and I told them, listen guys, like I'm trying to manifest this X, right? Whatever it is, the thing that I'm trying to manifest. And, you know, me telling them, expecting them to be like all supportive and all, you know, you can do whatever you set your mind out to do. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> yeah, that's not what happened. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, they were all like laughing their heads off at me. And they were like, dude, like, how do you know you're going to get that? Um, are you sure you can manifest that? Are you sure that's possible? Like, okay, you can set your intention for that, but like it might not happen. You know, you know that, right? So, and not to put like any, any negativity on my family whatsoever, like love them, they're all doing their best. And in fact, it's, I, I don't take it personally at all because I understand that that is a reflection of my fears. So <laughs> number two is just to be cautious and careful about who you share your manifestations with. If you want to truly believe and solidify your manifestation, you have to understand that if it's not yet solidified, if you are not yet believing and are super convicted that what you want is coming, then the people in your external world are just going to mirror your current state of mind. Now, again, this uh, this could be a limitation. You don't have to resonate or take this on, or you might have the mental discipline or the mental uh, strength to not care at all what people externally to you say, and you don't let that affect you or give you doubts. Of course, it's just a belief and everyone is you pushed out. Everything is a projection of you. So that's why I'm saying you can take this or you can leave it like it's whatever you resonate to. But for me personally, I am just a little bit more choosy of who I tell my manifestations to or that either that because they could always project their limitations or your limitations. So I'll either just be very choosy or if I'm deciding to tell someone that I always have in the back of my mind the awareness that no matter what they say, I am remaining true and conscious and gonna continue to affirm in the reality that I'm creating in the manifestations that I'm calling in. And I have to be more conscious about not allowing it to af affect my internal state. So if you're going to be telling people your manifestations, just be a little more cautious and aware that they could present limiting beliefs but at the end of the day, they're just projections of your own limiting beliefs that you have of yourself because people are just mirrors. So I guess this number two advice to simplify, to sum it up, is try to solidify your belief first within yourself before starting to tell people. Only for the simple fact that you don't want your limitations to be projected back to you and to create more and more doubts and limitations that are not necessary for creating your reality. You want to persist in the mind and persist, persist, persist with the belief again that you are the God of your reality. Persist in that new belief. Persist in calling in the thing that you desire to call into your life and be aware that people just project your current limitations. Doesn't have to be that way. Again, that can be just assumption, law of assumption, right? You could be assuming that they'll project your limitations so they do, but either way, just to be safe, this is what I do. You can either take that or leave that, but I did want to include that in here because it is a possible experience that people have. And I know people can get really down about people shitting on their things that they're trying to manifest. And you need to remember that you need to be the number one supporter of yourself because you are the God of your reality. The other person, the other people are not the God of your reality. You are, you decide what you get to create. And that also goes by the way for tarot cards or psychics or anything like that. If people are telling you what you can or cannot manifest, you are giving them too much power because infinite potential realities exist and you being the conscious creator of your reality, you get to decide which one of those timelines you tap into. So don't forget your power. Don't give your power away to the outside world, to other people to tell you what it is that you can or cannot manifest, okay? Okay, so the third and last tip that I have for you guys to truly believe in the thing that you're calling into your reality is to persist in the new identity, all right? just persist just keep going just continue to reaffirm the new stories that you are wanting to solidify into your subconscious continue affirming them continue planting new thoughts continue planting new seeds into your mind of telling yourself that you already have the thing that you desire the more you tell yourself you already have the thing that you desire 
Yes, at first you might not believe it. Yes, for the first week you might not believe it, even if you're affirming it every day. But when you pers and that's not maybe again, not trying to place any limitations because the more solidified your self concept is actually the faster you're going to get yourself to believe, right? So there's no rules. There's no one size fits all. It's you just need to persist, persist until when, until you get your manifestation. It's literally that simple. You don't give up regardless. If you want what you want bad enough, you're going to persist in thinking thoughts that are in alignment with you receiving the thing that you desire. You're the God of your reality. You create your reality. Period. That's it. Literally, that's it. Just persist. Just keep going. Don't let the doubts, the wavering, the limitations, people's perceptions, people's negativity, people's... I don't even want to say people's negativity because it's not people's negativity. We don't want to blame, right? It's us. It's our negativity being mirrored and reflected back to us so that we're able to transmute it and raise our consciousness above it. Just continue to raise our consciousness above it. That's all we got to do. Sorry, guys. I just got a phone call, but I'm going to end this video off here. If you guys are interested in hearing even more details on self-concept, then make sure you check out the free webinar that I hosted. I hosted it live on Zoom like two or so weeks ago, but it is free on my website if you want to check that out on www.rahosa.com. Super valuable stuff. I know you'll get value from it. So yeah, check that out. And that's all for me in this video, guys. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, please leave it a like and a comment down below letting me know what was the most valuable thing you got out of this video. Hit the subscribe button for new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you.